Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I am here with our weekly video and tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and your wellness. And this week, we are going to talk about the laundry room. So I like to go through areas of the house room by room because it makes it very simple to break down what we need to change and how we need to change our habits. So focusing on one room at a time, such as the laundry room, is a great place to start. Now, your laundry room in and of itself can actually be a very toxic space because of how we use the room. It gets very humid, it often has closed doors, and we don't let a lot of fresh air into this space. Not to mention all of the products that come into play when we talk about laundry. Everything from detergents to softeners to dryer sheets to stain treaters. A lot of them contain very toxic chemicals that are burdensome to our health and that really can make our home and our bodies unhealthy. And so we are going to cover a five step plan that you can use to detox your laundry space and make it a healthier room and overall improve the health and wellness of your own body. So creating a space that is free from toxins really doesn't have to send you hunting for healthy laundry room ideas all over the internet. In fact, Creating a healthy laundry room is actually probably a lot less burdensome than you might think. So the health of your laundry room can not only impact your health when you're in the space, but it can also impact your health as you wear clothing that has been washed in your laundry room. This is why creating a healthy laundry room and using these healthy laundry room ideas that I'm about to share with you is going to impact your health in a big way. Reducing toxins that we wear around all day long can drastically improve your health and your wellness. So as with all of my healthy home ideas, pick a few things that are easiest for you to change and then once you've got a good handle on it, move on to the next thing. In the end, you will have a space that will support your health and your wellness. So before jumping in, here are some of the big ways that your laundry room is actually impacting your health and your wellness. Not only does the room itself contain toxins, but oftentimes the products that we use in the laundry room become embedded into our clothing fibers. And those clothing fibers then sit on our skin day in and day out, exposing us to toxins constantly. So the largest group of toxins in the laundry room by far is fragrances. Think of all the products that promise to make your clothes smell fresh all day long. These are all synthetic fragrance. What we know about synthetic fragrance is that they often contain toxins that are never disclosed to us, the consumer. These toxins are often in the form of VOCs, which have been classified as allergens, as hormone disruptors, and even as neurotoxins. So imagine being in extremely close contact with chemicals that negatively impact normal hormone production or aggravate allergies or negatively impact your brain all day and all night. If you wash your laundry in detergent or softeners that contain these toxic ingredients that are found in fragrance, this is exactly what you are doing and we want to fix that. And this doesn't even cover dioxane, which is honestly one of the worst additives in laundry detergents. This toxin is a known carcinogen and it negatively impacts the kidneys, the central nervous system, and respiratory function. But don't forget about the room in and of itself. There are also dangerous toxins that could be adding to your space with your habits or your appliances. So increased humidity in laundry rooms can contribute to increased mold growth, increased dust mites, as well as increased off-gassing of VOCs, all of which are not only irritating to humans, but are also burdensome to our immune system and our endocrine system as a whole. 
And another new toxin that we've been seeing in laundry rooms is electromagnetic radiation and fields due to smart appliances. So even when these appliances are not connected to Wi-Fi, they're still sending out signals to attempt to connect to something, creating high levels of EMFs and EMRs in your home. What we know is that constant low frequency EMF and EMR can cause things like headaches, aggravated anxiety. They can cause fatigue and cognitive impairment and even decrease learning ability. But of course, the good news is that you can quickly start detoxing your laundry space and reduce exposure to all of these toxins in a really short amount of time. As with anything, but especially healthy laundry room ideas, we're going to talk about what you can do immediately, what you can work towards, and what you can plan for in the future. So first things first on the list of healthy laundry room ideas is to thoroughly look through your products and make sure they are plant-based fragrance free and don't contain things like phosphates, dioxins, or bleach. You can use a third party app to figure out what you want to buy and then plan to make these purchases when your current laundry detergent, softener, or brightener is gone. Or you can use this list of my favorites to help you in your laundry room. So for laundry detergent, I love Truly Free and Molly's Suds. Fabric softener, I love Element 9. For a brightener, Truly Free has a great Oxy Boost that you can use. And as a stain treater, Simple Enough baking soda and dish soap is our go-to for every kind of stain and it honestly works like magic. And then instead of those toxic dryer sheets, use wool dryer balls but add a clothespin and maybe some essential oils you won't even know that you've changed. So step two is some laundry room ideas to reduce toxins. Once you've got a handle on your products, which are honestly the most important, it is time to focus on some simple habits you can change to make sure your space is as healthy as possible. Step one, clean out your washing machine. Making sure your washing machine doesn't have mold or mildew anywhere in the basin or dispenser is key to a healthy laundry room. You could manually clean each of these areas or run a cycle with a washing machine cleaner in it to get the gunk out of your machine. You can also remove lint from your dryer. So cleaning out your lint trap every time you run your dryer to prevent any sort of buildup of fibers that can be not only toxic but also flammable is key. Every six months, you also want to clean the venting outside of your structure to remove additional lint that gets through the vent. You also want to dry out your washing machine basin. So keeping your machine as dry as possible will help. It could be as simple as letting your machine air out in between uses, but it could also include wiping down wet parts of the machine to ensure no mold or mildew can even start. This will help reduce the overall humidity levels in your laundry room as well, which can lead to a healthier environment. And then finally, reduce dust where you can. Laundry rooms can be dusty places and keeping on top of it can be a chore, but removing dust will also remove toxins as we know from research done on household dust, it's toxic. So wipe down surfaces and clean the floor at least once a week to reduce the spread of toxic dust into the rest of the house. Step three is to improve airflow. The best thing you can do in your space is to increase this airflow. Not only will this help your room stay dry, but it will also reduce off-gassing of VOCs, reduce mold growth, and dust mites in the space. So here are two really simple things you can do. First, use your vented fan. If your laundry room has one, seriously use it. The best thing you can do is turn on the fan when you're using the washer or the dryer, and then for about 20 minutes after they are done. This is going to help draw out any sort of air from the room, including air that could contain VOCs and air that has high levels of moisture. It's a great tool to not only improve airflow, but also to reduce humidity levels too. And then second, open doors. If you have a laundry closet or a laundry room with a door, try to leave the doors open while your machines are working. Not only will this actually improve the life of your machines as they work more efficiently with fresh air, but it will also help reduce moisture levels in a small space where mold can grow. 
So anytime the doors can be open to the space, I really recommend leaving them open to improve airflow and reduce humidity levels. And speaking of, step four is to reduce those humidity levels. We all know that humidity levels in a room play a huge role in just how quickly VOCs are off-gassing and just how much potential mold growth there can be. So keeping a laundry room dry can be a challenge, but it's necessary for a healthy laundry room. The first thing you're going to do is line dry outside, if at all possible. Drying laundry inside can drastically increase the humidity levels in the space. All of that moisture in the laundry is essentially evaporating into the air, which is increasing the relative humidity quickly. And if you must line dry inside, you can use things like a drying rack with a fan, or you can add fans of your own to kind of speed up the process of drying. Otherwise, outdoor line drying is ideal. The second thing you'll want to do is check your dryer vents. So sometimes dryer vents can become disconnected and all the moisture that's coming out of the vents is then expelled into the room rather than outside. So this can happen through the machine being moved even ever so slightly. And every now and then you want to check to make sure that everything is still connected and secure. A telltale sign to look at this is if you see lots and lots of lint in your laundry room, it means that the vent could have come disconnected. And then finally, keep standing water out of your laundry room. Make sure that there's nothing in laundry tubs, in washing machines, or disaster pans. All water should be fully drained out of sinks and appliances to ensure that it's not going to just evaporate into the air, which will increase the relative humidity of your space. And then finally, plan ahead for the future. There's so many things you can look for in a healthy appliance. So the first thing is to avoid smart appliances. If at all possible, avoid them. They can be emitting electromagnetic signals even when they're not set up with your Wi-Fi because they are always calling for a signal. You also want to buy a top load washer. Front load washers are notorious for growing mold and mildew and not all of it can be easily cleaned out of that rubber boot and gasket that seals the water into the machine while it's running. This doesn't even mention that these machines are much more likely to leak, causing water damage around your home. Top load is definitely the best and healthiest option. You also want to look for a stainless steel tub for both your washer and your dryer. It's one of the best materials because not only is it free from toxins, but it also does not allow mold or mildew to grow on it. Most tubs nowadays are stainless steel. However, it might be good to verify this when you're on the hunt for new appliances. And then finally, you can consider a heat pump dryer. This is a newer way to dry your clothes. It not only uses less energy, but it ends up costing you less money and it's easier on your clothing as it's not as damaging because there's less heat being used. It's also typically ventless, so there is no concern for lint building up to a fire hazard. So don't neglect that laundry room, even though it is not the most glamorous room in your house. Instead, tackle it head on with these laundry room ideas, and you'll have just one more space that supports your health and well-being. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you were able to take one thing away from this five-step process and bring it into your own laundry room to make it a healthier space. Please subscribe to my channel because I am here every single week with a new topic and a new tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and your wellness.